Good day Brawlies, what's up? In today's video, we're checking out yet another budget gaming monitor, but this time, it's from ViewSonic with the VX2405. The ViewSonic VX2405P MHD to be exact is a 24-inch Full HD IPS gaming monitor with up to 144Hz refresh rate, 1 millisecond response time, supports AMD FreeSync Premium, and has built-in stereo speakers. It has all the bare essentials a budget monitor should have with quite outstanding color accuracy for its price. But is it something you should consider given the number of budget gaming monitors out in the market? Let's find out. So let's get into it. As I unbox this gaming monitor, let me pop the specifications on the screen so that you can get that out of the way. But essentially, like I mentioned earlier, it is a 24-inch Full HD IPS gaming monitor with a decent 144Hz refresh rate, 1 millisecond response time, and has at least 100% sRGB coverage, and it also supports FreeSync Premium, which it should be considering it can go beyond 120Hz, and also supports VESA mounting and has tier speakers at the back. Now included in the package are the power cable, an HDMI cable, some paperwork including the user guide and the support bar which is made almost entirely of plastic with the exception of the bracket and we also have the base which is also made out of plastic. The assembly process is pretty straightforward, you just have to slide the support bar like so then attach the plastic base. You don't even have to tighten any screws at all. Now here in front we have the 24 inch full HD IPS display with very thin bezels all around with a slightly thicker chin. At the center, we have a ViewSonic logo, and at the right corner, we have a small LED indicator. Looking at the back, we have a larger ViewSonic logo right here, a ventilation strip that doubles as a speaker grill for the steer speakers, the OSD buttons with some decent tactile feedback, the 100 by 100 mm VESA mounting option, the plastic support bar, the input and output ports underneath, and a Kensington lock slot. Overall, the build quality, to be honest, is quite flimsy or wobbly, mainly because of the plastic construction of the sport bar and base. The good thing here is that it supports VESA mounting, so you can easily mount this on an arm for better stability. Now, in terms of input and output ports, we have a 3.5mm audio out port, one display port, and two HDMI 1.4 ports. The power supply is internal, and the port is located here on the other side. When it comes to angle adjustment, it is pretty basic. You can tilt it down up to this point, and tilt it back up to this angle. Unfortunately, it doesn't have height adjustment. Now, let's go through the OSD settings. First, we have the input sources, audio adjustment, display presets, and color adjustments that include an option to enable sRGB mode and select full or limited color range. We also have the manual image adjustments where we can select different response times modes and all the other miscellaneous settings here. Aside from that, if you press the topmost button, you'll get access to a smaller version of the OSD settings where you can quickly adjust your desired parameters. Now, the build construction and design of the ViewSonic VX2405 might be pretty basic, but at least it has a quite outstanding display quality, especially considering the price. Now, using the Spider X Pro calibration tool, at maximum brightness, it was measured at around 305 nits, which are above the specified 250 nits for this monitor. I'm not sure how accurate this reading though, so take that with a grain of salt. Now, after calibration, I'm pleased to see that this monitor has at least 100% sRGB coverage, 80% NTSC, 82% Adobe RGB, and 90% P3 color gamut. That is very good, again, considering the price of around 10,000 Philippine pesos. Granted, there are also other monitors out in the market with very similar quality and price points. But if you're looking for this specific model, then rest assured that it has good color accuracy. It also has good viewing angles of up to 178 degrees all across the board, both horizontal and vertical, which is not a surprise thanks to the IPS panel. The colors are quite vibrant, as you can tell, and the brightness levels are pretty good and can keep up even with some powerful lighting around my studio. Contrast levels, sharpness, and details are fairly substantial too. There is also no color shifting on scrolling texts, unlike on most TN panels, which adds up to the overall viewing experience. Ultimately, I don't think you'll get disappointed when it comes to its display quality. However, I can't help but notice that the display on my Realme Book laptop is slightly better in terms of brightness, but I guess that's to be expected given that a laptop should really have a brighter screen for outdoor use. Anyways, I digress. The important thing here is that the ViewSonic VX2405 excels where it matters the most, which is display quality. Now, in terms of gaming potential, this monitor supports up to 144Hz refresh rate with at least on the spec sheet 1ms GTG response time. If that's accurate, it should perform pretty well. 
Personally, I think 144Hz nowadays should be the minimum requirement for refresh rates when it comes to competitive gaming, especially the fact that monitors like this are already relatively expensive to begin with. Going from 60 to 144Hz is actually quite significant. Basically, the faster the refresh rate in combination with fast response times, the less image blur and ghosting you'll notice on the screen. Now, my testing methodology is no way scientific, and this is just my best effort to try and see the performance of this monitor, something that anyone with a camera can do as a regular consumer. What I did here is I tried to match my camera's frame rate to the display's refresh rate, in this case, 60Hz and 144Hz. But since my camera doesn't allow me to set it to 144Hz, I set it to the closest, which is 160. Again, this is not super accurate, but at least it will give us a bit of an idea. Now, as you can see, even at 60Hz, setting the response time to ultra fast already made a difference in terms of reducing the ghosting without much unwanted artifacts. And setting it to 144Hz make it even better with an image trail closer than what we have at 60Hz. I'm not sure exactly if the response time setting in OSD is the equivalent of overdrive, and I also don't know the exact value since we only have standard, advanced, and fast. But yeah, setting it to 144Hz at ultra fast response time made a significant improvement. Now, just in case the 144Hz refresh rate involves overclocking, using a long exposure shot reveals that there is no frame skipping, which is a good sign. Now, in terms of backlight bidding, I don't see any issues here at all angles. Same with white background, no significant dark spots or buildups. And thanks to the good color accuracy of this monitor, it is also ideal for productivity and creative work, especially for most work from home environments and social media postings. Indeed, I already mentioned it has built in stereo speakers. Well, they are okay to say the least, but if you need some quick audio, you have it as an option. Here's a quick sound test for you guys. Overall, the display quality of the ViewSonic VX2405 is something the brand can be proud of even though the build quality is quite subpar with limited adjustments. It's good for casual competitive gaming, you know, guys like me who play competitive ranked games from time to time but don't really take it seriously to the next level. Since if you are, you'll probably be better off with something that has a faster refresh rate and more gaming-centric features. Otherwise, the ViewSonic VX2405 is a good overall budget option. It has built-in speakers, VESA mounting support, and overall decent display quality and performance. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. Thanks to ViewSonic for sending this in, you can get this using the link below. Again, thank you for watching, subscribe if you like this, and see you next time. Have a great day guys, you're awesome.